All right, I think we're live. I'll give everybody a minute. I know it takes time to come over to another channel. For those of you who show up. <clears throat> this is what we're going to be talking about. Try to get it in there. Right there. Here it is. Interesting case alert. Look at that. You can even see the purulence right there. Oh. Hi from Florida. <laughs> awesome. So good. Yeah, somebody came up. So um, we got one thumbs up. Awesome. Oh, people are showing up. Cool. Lynn, Shauna. Very cool. I have a new light. I don't know if it's too bright. It seems to be okay. Um, but a good, a good light here. So that's kind of nice. Good one, Susan. I don't know if you guys can tell. Uh, I've lost a little weight. Um, been working out a little bit more and from the biggest I've ever been, I'm down 20 pounds. That's pretty crazy. I don't know if you can tell. I'm slimming it up, slimming it up. <laughs> um, so just, you know, a little bit of cardio every day, watching what you eat. It's been, it's been good. I've been working out a little bit more, um, but that's always good. Um, but yes, hello from it's Stephanie, Mariana, Isabel. I know there was a lot of people from Europe. Uh, Netherlands, Barbara, very cool. Chuck, um, Laura Barsic, haven't seen you in a while. Very cool. Um, welcome. And Shirley, Mel, Dragon Casey, everybody's checking in a lot in the, in the United States as well. So um, the reason why I bring up this case and, and also one of the reasons why I have Mr. Popsit live is to really kind of dive into some of these conditions and, and kind of break them down and what's going on. And these are interesting because they mimic other things. And there's a reason why they happen and they keep going on. So this was uh, on the left side right here. You can see the edge of the mouth right there. And you know that's the neck going down there as well. And this had been there for like six months. And um, this is actually, uh, I, I've seen multiple of these over the years, but the first one I saw, I did what almost everybody does when they see it for the first time. They think it's a cyst um, that's getting ready to burst or an abscess and they do a small excision and they try to remove it. It looks good when you close it. Um, and then it comes right back, literally just starts leaking again. The little, they have that little, <laughs> excuse me. <clears throat> just getting over a little laryngitis. <clears throat> um, you can see here it dimples in, very telltale sign. So you see that bump there um, and that dimples in. Oh my goodness, Laura, thank you so much for the super chat. That is too kind. Um, you can join VIP. It's a $4.99 um, and, and it, there should be a join button. Sometimes you have to do it from your uh, from your computer. Um and sometimes certain phones, it doesn't work. In particular, I think iPhone. You might have to do it from an iPad or a computer. But everybody always kind of chimes in and says the issues they had. Um, but it, it just hit it, and it's four ninety nine a month. And it's just a little bit more personal videos of what's going on in my personal life. So, But thanks for asking, and thank you so much. That was really nice of you for the super chat. Um, but yes, with these... There's a couple reasons they happen. And once you see one, you're like, oh, as a clinician, it's in your head. I always walk in. I've had some new physician assistants in our practices where I've worked. And they come in and they're like, Greg, what, I haven't seen this before. It looks like a cyst, but it's a little different. And the first question I ask, uh, have you had a sore tooth? Always. It's always a sore tooth. They need a root canal. They're, they don't have the money or dental insurance, so they don't get it done. It forms a large abscess, and it pushes, and, and that abscess gets, keeps getting bigger and bigger, and it sinus tracks out to the surface of the skin. And then it just keeps leaking. And the reason why they don't go in to get the, the, uh, um, their tooth done, it, if you know they don't have time or if they didn't have insurance outside of that, is because it starts draining and relieving the pressure. And so they're like, yeah, it's sore, but I can deal with it. And, and, and that literally, it's like a little tube coming out to the surface of the skin. And it, the pus that keeps forming down in the root of the tooth where they need a root canal um, just keeps leaking out. It's such a weird presentation. Um, 
And sometimes this happens in areas where people don't have insurance a lot. Um, where I work out in the Inland Empire, it is, uh, it, it's a common area that, that I see it. People that might not have, um, might not have insurance and can keep up with it or don't have dental insurance. So, you know, what you can do on these, you can do a little drainage if like on this one, it had a little pocket building up. <laughs> but what they really need is an oral maxillary surgeon or, or a dental referral stat as quick as they can because they need to go in and get that tooth taken care of or this will not go away. And I've had people, they've like had an excision. It just comes back. They go somewhere else because they think they didn't do it right. They get another excision and it comes back again. It's going to keep coming back till you get the tooth taken care of. So um, that's it's so important because the bigger they get, and you can see how big this one is. Um, that one is pretty good size and it can cause a permanent scar. It can just keep kind of getting bigger. It can be very painful and the pressure can keep coming up. Um, so it's so important to get those taken care of because that, that can lead to deep abscesses in the jawline, nerve damage sometimes. Um, these do not turn out well. So important, you know, if, uh, you know, not everybody has dental insurance, but sometimes a lot of dentists will work in cash um, and they'll give you a deal usually with cash patients as well, sometimes for emergencies. So I, I wanted to let everybody know that. Um, so the, uh, the news coming up soon uh, that I mentioned before, I am no longer with advanced dermatology. Uh, so that is, is big news. And I was there for, for six years. Um, so that, that's something big. And what's coming after that is the big news, <laughs> the big, big news. So I can't say it yet, but things are, are lining up and it should be cool. I, I will make sure my VIPs will find out usually a day before everybody else, but I will have it on here. I will have it on Mr. Pops it. And I'll also have it on my Instagram and on my TikTok. So that will be coming soon. Um, but other than that, any questions? We'll open up for questions if anybody has any. Um, this is always fun on Mr. Pops It Live. I appreciate the ones coming here. This channel is fully monetized, even though it only has 30,000, you know, something subscribers. It literally does almost as well as my 800th of um, thousand subscriber uh, channel. Somebody asked me the other day, <coughs> I think it was in the comment section, um, what does a demonetized channel make? And, you know, when you do the numbers on it, I did the numbers. I was like, you know, that's a good question. Normally, a million views uh, would make somebody ten to twenty thousand dollars on a normal channel. If you got a million views uh, on a demonetized channel, it ends up being like 0 0.05, half a per of one percent. Usually, ends up being about fifty to seventy five dollars <laughs> uh, for a million views. So it is something. It does pay for like lawyers' fees and just the the fees to set up uh, a business, which you have to do. Uh, when you have a YouTube channel, but it about breaks even for the most part. Um, but the, you know, that was a good question. And, and, you know, I thought I was thinking about that and it was good to let people know because a lot of people ask that question and I've gone on to some of the, um, some of the like trackers for YouTubers and they have me on there making like $4 million or three. It's crazy. And I, you know, it's just, it just grabs your views and then they just equate it. They don't realize that these types of channels are demonetized always. Um, but yeah, that's the case. Good question. Uh, usually they just need a root canal. Um, they don't always need it pulled, but sometimes when it gets to this point where they have this sinus tract that's coming out to the surface of the skin, there could be some damage there and, and a pretty bad inflammatory response. And sometimes the tooth does have to be removed. I also have seen it in implants sometimes when they, in the bottom of implants when they get an abscess there and that can, you know, erode some bone tissue. It can be pretty se severe sometimes. And even people need to get cadaver bone put in or things like that. Um, if you don't get these taken care of, it can be a pretty serious. So, um, that's kind of bad. Um, you know, on TikTok, I'm not even monetized. Uh, that's a good question, Jane. Um, I do have enough to be, they sent me a thing and then they wanted very elaborate information. And I was just saying, eh, I'm not going to do that just yet. 
Um, but I, I think I have enough subscribers there to be monetized. I, I just haven't really gone forward with that, but that's, I should look into it because <laughs> that, that helps with everything and keeping, you know, everything free with my normal videos. Um, so that's always good. Let's take a look. I was going back. Um, oh, thank you, Melody. You can tell I lost weight. <laughs> just going back to see if there's any, if any other questions. Yeah. Insurance covered. That's good, Jeanette. Um, perfect. So hello, TT. Welcome. So um, that was just a quick one. I just wanted to answer some questions and go over the sinus tracts. Um, I also, I, I see a lot of patients, they just get, have sore teeth. A lot of people don't have dental insurance, unfortunately in the United States. Um, and they, um, you know, they'll have a sore tooth. This is what can happen with this, with a, with a sore tooth and not getting a root canal. I know a lot of people just put it off. They're like, they put it off and it can get pretty bad to where, you know, the end product is not only losing a tooth, but even getting a, um, so partial bone removed or breaking down a bone and having to get cadaver bone put in. I have seen that happen. Um, so great. Not reflecting as much. Cool. Thanks for the feedback. Yeah. It's, this is just a light for the desk, but it, it's an led light. And I was like, man, I can just turn this thing. It's really high. And I was like, that looks like it's a good matte light. It's not too shiny. So I <laughs> love it. Um, the studying is still going TT. It's a two year process. Cause I do just 25 questions a month. Oh, it's a long, and it's only 3% dermatology, so I have to go back. It's, it's just I'm trying to do a little bit every day, but life gets in the way for sure. <laughs> um, so I'm going to keep up with it. I'll keep everybody uh, in the loop of what, what's going on and what the big news is coming in the next month. But thank you all for uh, checking in, um, and we will we'll be talking again soon. So have a great weekend coming up, and thanks for popping by. See you soon.